What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, this one isn't really an indie game, this is by 505 Games, but they graciously sent over a key. And I, there's a shortage of like survival games nowadays. Survival games were incredibly popular and super in vogue in like 2015. But lately there's not quite as many of them around and so when one comes along I want to play it on the channel. It's a vice. There are much worse vices that I could have. But in this case, playing survival games is one of those things, especially if they've got a really, really high... If they got a really high production value, I can't help myself. So, let's try this out. If after watching this video you wanted to get the game, it's available on Epic right now. I'll have a link for you down below so that you can purchase the game there. Full disclosure, it does support the channel when you purchase it through that link. So anyways, I've done my due diligence there. Let's dive on into the game and see what it has for us. Let's journey to the Savage Planet, my friends. To the Savage Planet. So here we are. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive and see you soon. I don't like that the company that I work for didn't have the money to splurge on tools for me, but they did have money to splurge on a Tim and Eric skit telling me how I'm going to die on a foreign planet. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire if you don't mind. So we can make sure you're not crazy. Alright, I'm not crazy, I swear. I'm a nice guy. I'm one of the best, in all honesty. In my own opinion, I humbly think I'm the best. Alright, it looks like you made a good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program Benefits Contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as uh, space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Uh, I'm the dog. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Thank you for your time. This is the end of the report. Alright, apparently I have submitted. 
here from Kindred Aerospace. Welcome to the first day of a great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name Here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity can continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. All right. Cool, man. Sounds good to me. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Why couldn't you just make a door? Why do you have to blast my ions into a bunch of space dust and reincorporate me? You're basically killing me. You could have installed a door right here. Look, there's the door. Or, even better, just bulkhead right there. God, I hate space exploration. Well, this planet doesn't look busted as hell. My ship don't look great either. I, I kind of feel like we should have... So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Oh my god, there's an exterior hatch. So why did I have to use a teleporter? I love the animations. They're remarkably slapstick. <laughs> Hey, little buddy. How you guys doing? Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Do that now. Okay. Don't so to scanning mode. Scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ. Which will send you blueprints for. They'll send me blueprints for apparently just about everything. The will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. I'm gonna be honest with you, really not enjoying this trip to space. If you could, if you could just do me a favor and seem a little less excited about how terribly this is going, I feel like that would do a lot for my morale. I also don't like the fact that my AI, my robot, whatever, said the word uh. I don't think robots are supposed to go, well, uh, I scanned around. No, mm -mm. I want my robot to be precise. My robot should absolutely understand 100% what's going on. There should be no room for us. How do I throw this? I want to throw this grenade. There's a missing panel I was supposed to scan. Oh, did I miss it? I don't see a missing panel. Apparently, there's a button I can press to bitch slap my enemy. Yeah, that exists right there. That exists right there. I can basically give them the old hands. It wants me to go this way. I've also got some kind of hand grenade or something. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm scanning you. You have been scanned. Uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. It's this right here, isn't it? It's this weird spooky rock. Surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new 
tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Are these violent? They've got a big horn. I don't know if I trust it. Aww, it's chilly. It's apparently a puffer bird. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Yeah, well, aren't we all from time to time? Uh, what is this thing over here? What is what is, what is that? They're drugs, but good drugs for healing, not fun. Lame. These aren't reeds. Yeah, they don't much look like reeds, do they? A bait dispenser. So I can throw Q. Apparently they like to eat grub. You know I had to do it. I had no choice. I'm also wounded. I'm also not feeling great right now. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft the basic nomad plasma. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. I got him. We took him out. They're so cute and so full of juice. They've been defeated. That one I had to throw a drop kick at real fast. If you're not drop kicking cute animals on an alien planet, what are you even doing on behalf of humanity? You know, like, why even bother to be where you are? I'm all covered in the blood of my enemies. I feel kind of bad right now. I don't feel great about it. I kind of feel like a jerk. All right, so what am I supposed to do? I don't remember what I was supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? So apparently I have to go back in the javelin and I have to craft myself a nomad pistol. Let's go do that. I would feel much better if I was armed with some kind of firearm. Javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. All right, so with the 3D printer, we've got a nomad pistol. Easy enough. Let's let's make one of those. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. Alright. Can I do anything else with it? I need other resources to do anything else. Apparently I'm a junior explorer right now, based on my rank. Listen, man. Listen. Listen. Now is not the time to be earning ad revenue off my misery, okay? Remember, explore, sleep, scan, repeat. Okay. Is there a way for me to, like, in my... I guess I can't take stuff out while I'm in here. Did it come out of the little thingy right here? Do I not have to pick it up? Let's go see if we have a gun. Let's go outside and see if we've officially been kitted up with a gun. Let's find out about this mystery. Ambient temperature 92 degrees. Bio oh, it just like reloads itself. Okay, I'm down with it. I'm ready. Take that, crystals. Be vanquished by the eminent power of mankind. Yeah, get sniped on, bro. Did you guys drop any resources or anything? No resources dropped so far, as far as like. Crystals infuriate me. I guess there's nothing around it in that area. I bet I'm going to get attacked right here. we got to clear out the area just in case. I bet they're going to come from that way. I bet you. There we go. We're all good to go. Apparently, my gun just, like, runs off of air or something. Oh, hey, what's going on, giant splash screen? How you doing? How you feeling? Uh, can I scan that? What is it? Sound weird, but do you see a large tower moving above you? 
I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Yeah, you do that. You do that, please. What is that? Now that's metal. Let's see here. What did that, that drop? Picked up looks disgusting and squishy and bouncy. It's a gelatinous blob. What does it do? Good lord. Is it like a jump pad? Oh, it is. It's a jump pad. Regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Okay. I will do that in just a minute. I'm kind of scared for my life right now. Berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. I can tell that this game has my sense of humor. Like, these are the descriptions of some of these items are like things that I would write effectively. And it's really, really working for me. What is this? What is what, what is what is this? What? What? Is, can I can I harvest that? So far, we haven't done a lot of harvesting. I kind of wanna. I got. I gotta get moving with the building, man. What is that thing? What is that? Like an anchor point for like a hook shot or something? It's kind of what it looks like to me. What is that thing? Get out! Get out of the way, space weeds! Move. All right. What are you? to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. That's what I was going to say. I would definitely uh, like to have a grapple. Uh, where am I going? I'm going over there. Alright, sorry. I get off the beaten path sometimes. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. Okay, I'm going to scan it after I murder all its family members. Like hell it is. That dude turned into a nuke. That was crazy. His eyeball popped out too. A little gruesome. A little gruesome, but you know. Sometimes you gotta do some ugly, gruesome things when you're colonizing a planet. It is what it is. These things right here, filthy xenos. And do you know what we do with filthy xenos? We wipe them out. It's the truth. Someday when the aliens arrive, they will probably see this video directed to them by their AI core or something like that, and they'll be like, listen, this guy is not to be trusted. All the other humans seem to be on board with us. This guy right here. You know, he seems nice, but he's got this one video on his YouTube from like 20 years ago. It says, purge the filthy Xenos. That's all that I'm saying. Hmm. I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Well, please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. There's another one over here. Can I eat this one too? Like, what happens if I eat this one over here? Does anything. That looks like. I don't know what those are, but I want them dead. Kill them all. All right, they're dead now. We've killed them. We're all safe. Oh, we found some silicon. Nice. Okay, so we'll use the silicon. You know, like, I had a feeling that was going to happen. A sneaking suspicion, as it were. Oh, really? Like, an entire just brick of carbon right there. Sweet. I will take it. No complaints from the splatty. Uh, I do want the rest of the silicon, though, because there was upgrades I could get for my gun if I had silicon. And then there's an egg over inside of here. I'm going to eat it, because why not? Yup. Nice. So apparently it wants me to harvest all of the alien globes as kind of like a submission, I guess. How hard is it going to be for me to get in here? That don't break. That does, though. The game's design looks really, really good. It's a pretty game. It's a real good-looking game. Apparently, we've got the Verdant Wilds of Zizzle. Okay. 
There do seem to be more critters around here. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna kill him real fast. Oh, he's got homies. Drop them. This is war, gentlemen. Oh, that was not a happy noise. What the hell was that noise? That was not a happy noise at all. What is that thing? Can I scan it? No? Okay. That was a very, very large creature that just made that noise. It articulated that ghastly noise, and I'm not I'm not positive I have enough pea shooter in order to uh, take something that size out. It sounded like a, it sounded like a T-Rex, didn't it? Sound a little like a T-Rex. Snipe! Oh, I missed. What is that thing? Like space dodos? I don't know what they were, but I killed them because why not? I like how everything on this planet is like cartoonish and just runs around screaming its ass off Ren and Snoopy style. Listen, critters. Listen. You and I have problems. We're going to solve them right now, critters. I want that. The question becomes, how do I get that? Probably jump pads. Probably jump pads. All right. Well, are we still going in the right direction? We got to go 85 meters that way to see whatever that, what is that thing? A plant with a taste for meat. Charming. Feed it a puffer bird and see what happens. It's probably going to open up its little tendrils down there. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You know what else this game reminds me of? As God. As you may like to make the attempt, the jumping is beyond your current capabilities but fear not the cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters please redirect your exploration efforts towards it all right i'm headed back on over there you know what the design of this game kind of reminds me of with like its humor and its ridiculousness and like the alien design and kind of the colorfulness of the world and the high saturated nature it kind of reminds me of jet force gemini I know the two games have nothing in common, but like aesthetically, it kind of reminds me of Jet Force Gemini. I don't really know what else to say about it. I don't know why it reminds me of that, because like they're not that similar, but it just does, okay? It just does. Just accept this, chat. Just accept what I am telling you. What is that thing? What does it do? This anthill is way bigger than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. Again? I've never wanted to self-terminate more than I do right now. Well, self-terminate away, I guess. I don't know. Aw, the power-ups disappear? Aw, oh, weak, dude. I was hoping they would stay over there. What happens if I use a booger plant right here? I bet I use a booger plant right here. Something good happens. Booger plant, grow! I knew it. I... What the hell is that? You could collect these, but they'd melt through your gloves and kill you. Unless we could build some sort of stabilizing upgrade using the plants themselves. There's a higher concentration of the same material high above you. Investigate it, and Kindred might let us upgrade your gauntlet. I don't really that see anything, but... Very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. That's what I like to hear when it comes to my continued survival. Stay tuned is the answer. Did I just get aluminum off one of these guys? Oh, nice, dude. What is that? Silicon? Nice, man. Nice. Was there anything over here? This planet was supposed to be devoid of intelligent life, but these structures. Why don't you scan this one? Binding bile. What does binding bile do? Okay, so it's like a slow effect that you can put on the ground. Nice. All right, so we have options. There's things around that we can play with. Can I get some more binding blobs, please? Thank you. I do like the way that all of your equipment is kind of like derived from nature in the unit. What is this thing? Looks like some sort of transport device. 
If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I knew it. I knew it. Well, there's lots of this gooey stuff around here. How much of it I actively want, I don't know. But... Where am I supposed to be headed right now? Apparently right over to here. That was the thing that it wanted me to do. Alright, we'll activate the alien teleporter. Let's do it. Alien... Alien te... Do I make dog noises because I picked the dog portrait? Hold up. I do. I make dog noises because I picked the dog portrait. Fantastic. Yeah, let's go back to our javelin. I'm sure there's some kind of crafting or building or upgrading we can do. I do kinda. I do kinda. I wanna see what upgrades are available. He's back. Hello. Is thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Meat scraps, fat and gristle. Yeah, that's not shockingly haunting at all, and I don't get the feeling that I'm probably going to be put through the meat grinder over this. Uh, so let's see here. Our weapon. We've got a gun. We've got things. We've got, you know, the Kindex. Things are around. I do need to get some more HP. That would be pretty rad. I think I'd be down for that. But anyways, I need to use the printy thing over here. So with the printy thing, we can go into items over here. We need kill it with fire, so we need a bombagranite stabilizer. A better utility belt would be pretty sweet. I'd be down for that. What else do we have around? We've got gears, so if we can find a proper object, we can make a grappling hook. Uh, what other stuff do we have going on? It bugs me that I can't click that little button right there. I actually gotta like move my left hand all the way over and use the the back key. Don't like that. Don't like that. Uh, with my weapon, can I do anything with this? So I can actually do a supercharged shot, or I can improve the damage, or I can give it an advanced battery. I want more bullets, so let's give it an advanced battery. Let's do that. That sounds fantastic. Alright, so we have an advanced battery now. Uh, this entire area appears to be just kind of off limits. Like, we're not even allowed to go there. So I suppose we'll just ignore it. But we'll go to, I guess, the Towering Crystals. We just dropped off all of our loot, so why not... I get 10 bullets now? That seems pretty hot to me, but I guess I'm inside like an enviro suit, so it's probably not that big of a deal, right? Uh, it wanted me to reroute over to here for this. It's not giving me any quest pings now, so I guess we're just going to wander around until we feel happy and satisfied with our expedition. But my name is Flattercat. Thank you for joining me this journey to Savage Planet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanted to get the game, i got a link for you down below where you can purchase it that supports the channel as well. Other than that, no complaints about it so far. The game's remarkably humorous. The presentation is on point. The controls feel pretty good. Some of the menus can be a little bit clunky, but that's pretty much the only thing that I've noticed so far that I've kind of raised an eyebrow at. My name is Blattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Uh, today, this is not an indie game, though, so I guess that catchphrase probably doesn't matter altogether that much. That catchphrase is probably largely false at this point, just for this video alone, though. I'll have something hot and fresh for you off the skillet tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you want to see a little bit more of this game. I'd love to play it with you. Other than that, I will catch you all tomorrow. Goodbye.